Daniela Elsa notes that the Sussexes have so many different projects going on that they have no time for themselves. Their companies include the adorably named Pekka Publishing, meaning freckle in Spanish, and Hampshire LLC, named after the county where they reportedly enjoyed a baby moon in 2019. Ms. Elsa, commenting on the couple's ventures in the New Zealand Herald, said, Harry and Meghan might now be the proud owners of a home with 16 toilets, a coop full of the world's most famous chickens and companies galore but one thing that could be in very short supply. Follow below for live updates. 11 to 8 Prince Harry turning into money-making machine, says expert Prince Harry is turning into a money-making machine as he strives to become financially independent from the firm, a royal expert has claimed. Ken Wharf, Princess Diana's former protection officer, claimed that the Duke's ball game is different since he stepped down from senior royal duties in 2020. Mr. Worth said, he is in a different ball game now, he's not carrying out his royal duties and with all the patronages head have and his military connections and the love that he had for the military. And now suddenly HES involving himself in in business interests on the other side of the Atlantic and so this is a different Harry altogether HES become part of a money-making machine. 1115 Harry still seeking perks of royalty with security demands Prince Harry still wants the perks of royalty despite stepping down from senior royal duties, a royal editor has claimed. The Duke filed a judicial review against the Home Office for their decision not to allow him to pay for personal protection when he and his family visit the UK. Richard Eden, diary editor at Daily Mail criticised Harry's sense of entitlement. He said, what strikes me is also it comes across as that sense of entitlement. I mean we've got some really rich and famous people here who have actually no security but Harry making this point about oh. I need this entourage, and everything, it just seems like he wants all the perks of royalty and the way HES approached it, as you say, is in keeping with what we've seen over the last year or so which is confrontation. 1036 Queen won't speak to nation as she reaches historic milestone The Queen will not address the nation as she reaches a historic milestone, a royal expert had played. February the 6th marks the beginning of the Queen's 70th year on the throne, however, it is also the day that her father passed away, therefore, Robert Jobson has suggested that the Queen will spend the day in somber reflection. He said, as has been tradition for many years, the Queen has travelled to her Norfolk estate at Sandringham every Christmas and usually stayed on until after the anniversary of her father King George VI's death, on 6 February in 1952 in Sandringham. Again, due to Covid protocols, she had to remain at Windsor Castle since the autumn, where she held muted celebrations with close family, including the Prince of Wales and the Duchess of Cornwall. This accession day will officially mark 70 years as monarch following the untimely death of King at just 56. There will be no broadcast to the nation, for Her Majesty, who will be 96 in April, it will be a day in quiet, somber reflection. Now without Prince Philip by her side, it will be even more poignant. 1006 What do the royal family's favorite teas and coffees say about their personality? The royal family's tea and coffee orders have been analyzed by trained psychologist Darren Stanton on behalf of coffee retailer Coffee Friends. Mr. Stanton said that the Queen's favorite tea, Earl Grey, is a strong and powerful choice. He added, the choice of an older generation, Earl Grey has fallen out of favor in the current trend of hot beverages. This sense of tradition also matches up to the Queen's character and demeanor as the head of state. Analyzing Prince Charles' favorite, Darjeeling, he said, this signifies someone who has a personality that isn't afraid to take risks in order to get what they want, considering Darjeeling is a spicier acquired taste. The honey seeks to soften the sometimes bitterness of the tea and is a cover to hide the real taste. 935 Will Camilla be accepted as queen? Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall and Prince Charles' marriage has been shrouded in controversy, with the breakdown of the pair's previous marriages in the public eye. When Camilla and Charles married in 2005, it was decided that Camilla would be known as Princess Consort instead of Queen when her husband takes the throne. This was out of respect for the altar Princess Diana, who would have been Queen. But will Camilla ever be accepted as Queen? Polling by YouGov has shown that Camilla's popularity has risen in the past few months, due to the fact that she has begun to take on more senior royal duties. In August, the Duchess had a positive rating of 2% and this was boosted to 5% by the end of November. Slowly but surely, it seems Camilla is winning the public over. Hours ago 9 o'clock Princess Charlene delights fans with social media post Princess Charlene, of Monaco has delighted her fans by breaking her social media silence to post a birthday message. The royal has been absent from Instagram for a month but today posted a video to mark her th birthday.
The post does not seem to have been written by the princess herself, but it appears to have been made for her by her non-profit organization, the Princess Charlene of Monaco Foundation. It reads, at PCMF South Africa Happy Birthday, Princess Charlene. We honor you for how much you always give of yourself to change people's lives around the world. Your passion and dedication to saving and changing lives is truly an inspiration. We trust this video of your journey thus far reminds you just how loved and appreciated you are. Hours ago 826 What is the Queen's plan for if she gets very unwell? The Queen's plan for if she becomes very unwell has been revealed by a royal expert. Dr. Ed Owens, told Express.uk that the plans date back to the reign of King George III. He said, if she was to become very unwell, it might be that Elizabeth II essentially retires from all public roles, handing over power and leadership of the monarchy to her successor as part of what is termed a regency. There is more recent precedent for this going back to the late 18th century when George III's eldest son ruled as his proxy due to the monarch's ill health. 801 Why the Queen wears bright colored outfits when the Queen is on public engagement, she can usually be seen wearing bright colors, such as yellow or pink. In his biography of the Queen Royal commentator Robert Hardman claimed that the Queen once made a joke about not being able to wear beige, he said, my favorite remark she ever said was, I can never wear beige because nobody will know who I am. In the documentary Our Queen at 90, Sophie Wessex backed up this claim, stating, don't forget that when she turns up somewhere, the crowds are 2, 3, 4, 10, 15 deep, and someone wants to be able to say they saw a bit of the Queen's hat as she went past. 731 Good morning.